This is so me. Oh yes, work hard and play hard, that's my motto. Oh, I don't know about the first one. <coughs> oh, will you listen to me? You must think I'm awful. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Wally. Yeah. Listen to me. What? What I said last night about wanting to know where I stand. Yeah. It's just... Look, I have had some lousy experiences in the past. With men who've got money and with men who haven't. They both can treat you like dirt. Well, not me, I promise you. I'm not a gold digger, Wally. Hmm? I do really like you. Tracy, I am under no illusions at all. I mean, you wouldn't look at me twice about my skin. Yes, I would. No, look, I'm not condemning you for it. You are trying to achieve a certain lifestyle. We all are, if we're honest, but only the lucky few can afford it. Yeah, well... I'm also attracted to men who are kind, oh. considerate, oh. and romantic like you. Well, flattery will get you everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Listen, I'm going to... I'll see you in there. Where are you? I'm at a friend's house. A special friend, or...? Just an ordinary friend. What do you mean? Well, you, you didn't come home last night. Look, are you checking up on me? Only to see if you're still alive. Look, I'm sorry, I should have rang you, I'm sorry. Well, are you coming home tonight? <laughs> Only we, we do still charge, you know. If we don't give it hours. Come on in, the walk! Yeah. Mum, I'll ring you, OK? Bye. Hello, Archie. Hello, Deidre. Uh, how's Blanche doing? Oh, her sister's on the mend. With a bit of luck, she should be home soon. <laughs> Although what she'll find when she gets here, a dread to think. What do you mean? I think Wally's too tiny now. No. Oh, wait till you find out who with. God, I just hope it's my suspicious mind. Who? Tracy. Oh, come on. Wally's old enough to be a, well, a, a grandfather. Well, I, I could be wrong, but... When I rang Tracy today to find out why she didn't come home last night, she was, she was very cagey and I thought I heard a man's voice in the background. Now, I do hope I'm wrong. Oh, this is awful, I mean. <laughs> Poor Blanche. I just wish there was some way I could find out for sure. Well, you, you'll have to confront her. Oh, yeah, and she'll come out with it. Well, well, there is another way. Oh. Well, uh, he won a prize in the tea dance raffle the other week. Well, just a bottle of sherry, only he didn't stay around to collect it. Now, uh, I could always drop it off at the house, and uh, you could come with me. Ready? Sorry, you must be out. Hang on a minute. I can hear voices. Listen. Mum? Oh. So this is where you got to last night. Wally invited me round. Oh, Wally, the mystery man. Look, well, we haven't been seeing each other long. I was going to tell you. It's not me you should be telling, love. It's your gran. Oh, but you can't, can you? Because she's in Morecambe nursing her poor sister. Listen, well, listen, we, we never meant for this to happen. Things just sort of developed. I bet they did. Well, I'll say this for you, Wally. You've certainly got away with the ladies. I'm surprised you didn't try it on with me as well. You could have had the set. Look, I know you're going to think badly of me, dearie, but it's not how it looks. Well, I'm sorry. Which bit have I got wrong? You being a randy old beggar who's old enough to be a granddad, or you... Being a gold digging little tart. You know nothing about our relationship. I don't want to know. The thought of it turns me stomach. But we weren't doing anything wrong. God, I knew you had loose morals, Tracy. But pinching your own grandmother's boyfriend, that is low. Aww. Even by your standards. He's not interested in me, Gran, not really. Oh, I bet he's not. Not with a 26 year old chasing him round the swimming pool in a bikini. Look, nobody chased after anybody else. The attraction was mutual. I know what the attraction is, Tracy. You know nothing about it. She's using you, Wally. You can see that, can't you? Well, some people might say I was using her. Look, I like Wally and he likes me. 
Hey, God, just look at her. No shame, no remorse. You brazen little hussy. Yeah? Well, if I'm one, ma'am, it must be in the jeans. She can... Well, don't hit me! Whoa, 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 whoa! Now, 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 lady, lady, please, please. Just pack it in the air. Oh, stop it! Please! Let's go! Here we are. Come on. Come on. I don't care how wealthy you are. I think you're a disgrace. Archie, we're a couple. A proper couple. He's even asked me to be his companion. John? Well, what are you doing back? The weather was rotten, so I came home. Who are all these people? Uh, oh, they, oh uh, they're, they're, the fr they're friends of mine. Well, you'll have to ask them to leave. What would Mr Lockwood say? Um, excuse me for asking, but who are you? I'm Mrs Bannister. Who are you? Mrs Bannister? I thought you said your wife were dead. Who's dead? I'm not dead. This isn't your house, is it? Oh. Of course it isn't. It belongs to Mr. and Mrs. Lockwood. They're in Zambia. Oh, no. We thought you lived here. We live in the cottage next door. I'm the housekeeper and he does the garden. What have you been saying to these people? Uh, excuse me, but I want the first pop here. You lying. Yeah, yeah, well, 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 look, look, I said you wouldn't give me a second glance if I was skint. Uh! How many more women have you conned? Well, I told you, it was just a joke. I just took it too far. It was only while the Lockwoods were away. You creep! Oh, you come near my family again, and you're a dead man. Oh, you hear? Don't worry. He's a dead man anyway. Oh, 